It's one of those traitorous fire mages. Bah! Hey, what are you talking about, Fletcher? You're in with that new camp scum, aren't you? Hold on. I guess you must have thought we wouldn't figure it out, huh? Ho, oh, hold your horses. No, you hold on. Hold on to your head, cause you're going to be missing it soon. Die, traitor! Hello, Diego. I've already talked to Milton on the other side of the camp. Okay, so you already know what happened. But did you also hear about the planned raid on the free mine? How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Why are the fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course, who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. 
Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. Take care. Thank you. 